Welcome everyone to this video of how to get your overlays and chat working within your VR headset. Now, I know this is something that has been a real tricky point for us Oculus users. Um, I've searched long and hard of ways to, to do it. Steam VR is no good. It works with OVR Toolkit, but Steam VR likes to distort the image for some reason. Um, and I've seen people get the dreaded yellow exclamation mark as an error um, a number of times. Uh, and personally, I have a number of times in regards to trying to pull apps out with the pin function within Oculus's um, operating software. Now, what I've found, thankfully, is a workaround in regards to the pin software, pinning software in Oculus. And I've managed to get the chat and the overlays to stay working within the headset. Um, even when you take the headset off, because I know in my personal experience, the pinning um, software um, or the pinning function, when you do grab an application or try and pin an application um, in the headset, it's once you've taken that headset off and you let it go on standby, Oculus then has an issue with re-rendering that image. Um, and that's when we get the dreaded um, yellow exclamation mark. And you may try and redo it over and over again and it just won't render the image. Um, it's quite a poor operating system, but I found a workaround and that's what this video is based, based upon. So yeah, let's head into it. So here we are guys, we are on the Oculus homepage. Now, what I will do first off is minimize that because that makes life so much easier when it comes to resizing and, and sorting things out. So what we want to be looking at here is our little menu. Now you can bring this up and move it about to make things a little bit easier for you. And what we want to keep an eye out for and what we're looking for is the virtual desktop. Now, I will show you how to use this with just one monitor, but first off, I'm going to show you with multiple monitors. So we're going to select my second monitor and move that back down because we don't need that anymore. And as you can see, this is what is currently displayed on my second monitor. You can see my programs and things like that and my desktop apps. So. This is what I've currently got displayed. I don't want that. I want my YouTube chat. So I currently go onto my browser, which I've currently already got set up, which I have got my chat pulled out in a pop, -up, pop out window. And I have got this maximized already so that when I open it, it takes up my full monitor, my full display. Now what I have done is I've zoomed in 200% so that I can see clearly what is displayed on this monitor but you may be thinking scott i don't want chat i don't stream i just want my overlays i want to be able to see my my relative my my caps fuel my race lab apps fuel jrt whatever it may be so okay that's fine that's fair enough now what i would advise is that you do this and set this all up in regards to your overlays before you get into your headset because it's just so much easier repositioning and, and resetting things up but what you want to do we're going to use caps as an example you want to open it up in a browser and what that will do is it will bring up something like this now what you can do when we maximize it, you will be able to, let's say you have your standings, your relative and your fuel calculator, you will be able to, anyone who knows caps or race lab apps, you'll be able to resize and position this across this screen to take up the full screen if, if so be it. But me personally, I only want to see my fuel. So when I restore that, that is currently the size of my, my internet there, my browser so that I can only see the fuel when I've positioned that in front of my chat so that when I do bring these up, it's like so. And that is how you display your overlays and your chat. It's really simple. You can use it with an app as well if you're using a chat bot. 
the one thing you would probably have to do with a chat bot because it's an app is find a way to zoom in so you probably have to zoom in your actual second monitor so that you can see the chat more clearly um, because you're not on a browser and it's not as easy to, to zoom in but what we want to do last thing we want to do is pin make sure you click that pin button because if you don't it's not going to carry over into the sim and then all you do is resize it because it's probably going to come up very large if you have never done this before it will come up something like that and you'll be like whoa that's going to take up my whole screen so what you do is to select it you hold the inside button the grip button on your controller and then you just press left to minimize press up to move it further away down to pull it closer to you and right to enlarge and then there's a case of positioning it roughly somewhere where you think it will be good now unfortunately we're just playing ball here we don't know how this is going to look in the sim so let's head into the sim and see how this is going to be displayed so here we are we are in the sim and as you can see it is displayed within the sim which is good but it's right in the middle of our screen we can't see anything now what you will notice is that it is taking up um, my black box relative and anything within the middle so what you will have to do when we are re repositioning this is it may be a case that you're going to have to move um, your iRacing interface around, um, be it off tracks, the, rel the relative, um, in relation to where you put the, your overlays and your chat. Um, because in my, as we're about to see, my ideal position is up top. Um, I think that's where it works best. And also I don't have to move my head as much to to look at, at it and um, I think it's the most natural way to do things but what we're going to do is we are going to go back to the oculus homepage press our select button on a controller and we know okay it was probably a little bit too large so we're going to minimize it and it was way too central so we're going to move it up and I think move it slightly over to the left it's still pinned pressed our oculus button again to go back Oculus controller, the menu button to go back into the sim. And there we go. Up and slightly to the left. I think that's a good position. I'm clearly going to be able to read the chat. I'm clearly going to be able to read the um, the overlay, the fuel calculator. Perfect. And that is how you reposition it. It's not the easiest thing in the world. Uh, it may take a couple of tries to do. Um, when you do take your headset off as well, um, every now um, when you put it back on it will reposition itself it may move slightly over to the right or down or up so it is a case of just grabbing your oculus controller again and slightly repositioning it it's for what it's worth it's not the end of the world um, but yeah that is how we get our overlays and our chat displayed in the oculus headset it's so much easier than uh, than it was before and yeah, it seems to have worked for me and I haven't had any issues since. But what we're going to do now is that is how to do it with two monitors or multiple monitors. I'm going to show you how to do it with one monitor. Um, really easy, yet again, if you are not recording, um, if you're not creating content, but if you're streaming and recording, there is something that you're going to have to do within Streamlabs or OBS um, afterwards, which I will uh, run through right at the very end just to show you how to how to do that. So here we are guys, we're back in the Oculus homepage. As you can see, it's showing me that iRacing is running. We're not in the actual sim, um, but it is running in the background. So as we did with multiple monitors, we are gonna select our virtual desktop and we're gonna select Monitor one, of course, if you've only got one monitor, it'll only say monitor one. So, as you can see, it's popped up here with the uh, what's displayed on my monitor, on my first monitor. And yeah, once again, I've got my YouTube chat fully maximized, zoomed in with uh, the CAPS fuel calculator in the browser. Now, what we're going to do is, once again, pin it. I'm gonna resize it 
to something that I know I'm already comfortable with. I think that's round about right. And we are going to press the select button, menu button on the Oculus controller to take us back into the sim. And there we go. It doesn't seem to have done it, but in many cases, what iRacing will do is it will upload itself or overtake the picture in your primary uh, monitor, in your first monitor, um, which is really annoying. And you can do this over and over again, and it will just continue to, to keep popping up in front of your chat and your overlays which isn't good, which isn't what we want. So what you want to do, and I advise doing this um, outside of the headset, but we are going to do it within the headset. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to enlarge so that you can see what I'm doing in front of me. And as I've already done it, within the Oculus headset, if you, once you've opened up the sim and you click somewhere else, um, on the, the monitor, whether it be the star or, or open something else up, iRacing will generally um, go into a window mode. Of course, it's not going to be a window mode within your headset, but on your monitor, it will go into a window mode. And what that will allow you to do is to restore the image and resize it. And as you can see here, I've already resized it and I've made it small enough so that I'm able to just drag it to the bottom of the screen like so, so that I can still bring it back up and then all you can see is my YouTube chat or Twitch chat, whatever chat it may be that you're using or app and the fuel calculator caps overlay and then it's a case of pressing start, okay I've uh, I've completely resized that and forgot to resize it back down as it's currently too big. But because it's minimized, regardless if it wants to override and take control of your uh, primary monitor again, your first monitor, it's not going to because it's really small and out of, out of view. And it's as simple as that. And it is really simple, but if you don't know how to do it, sometimes it's it, the simple things are, are things that we don't think of. Um, so, yeah, and that is how you get your first monitor or a single monitor displayed on to your um, within your headset, Oculus headset. Now, like I said, I'm going to go and exp I'm going to take the headset off, and I'm going to explain to you guys, you content creators um, who only have one monitor. Um, uh, but want to be able to see the chat and the overlays within the headset, how to um, record this, record content without um, without getting the displays mixed up. Because I know a lot of you guys, or me in particular, I use display capture to capture the image that is um, put onto my primary monitor. Now this wouldn't work because, as I've just done, my display capture I've minimized eye racing and what all you would see is my YouTube chat and Caps Fuel Calculator. <laughs> and that's no good. That's not the content you guys want to see. So yeah, I'm gonna take this headset off and I'm gonna show you on Streamlabs OBS what you need to do to make sure you get your Oculus headset or what you're viewing within your Oculus headset captured. So for you single monitor VR content creators out there, um, whether it be your streaming or just recording videos for YouTube, etc. Um, this is how you're going to be able to capture um, what you're seeing within your Oculus headset without using the display capture uh, function. So first things first, we need to go into our C drive and click on program files, Oculus, support, and then we're gonna to go to Oculus Diagnostics and we're looking for Oculus Mirror. Now, that's pretty much what it says on the tin. This is a function or program that displays and opens up a window of what you're viewing on your, or through your Oculus headset. Now, what you want to do, because that's very long-winded getting into this, um, you wanna create yourself a shortcut. Uh, I've already got one displayed, hence why it says number two and just 
bring that to your desktop because it's just so much easier and simpler. But what that will do, that will bring up an image here, a window that you can maximize or minimize and display what you're seeing through your headset. Now, mine's currently got nothing displayed at the moment because my headset's on standby, but there's something else that we need to do first before I show you exactly what's in my headset. So let's head over to Streamlabs. Now, as you can see, we are on Streamlabs. I apologize for the mirror, mirror image in there. Um, it's the only way that I can show you guys uh, what I want to show you. So what you want to do, I've already got it down here, but what we're looking for is game capture. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to add source, game capture, add source, click OK, it'll ask you to name it, um, just press OK, there's no need to rename it as anything anything else. And what you want to do is you want to right click, go to properties, and you want it will originally be set to auto, and you want it to be set to capture a specific window. Now, what you want to do, you'll have a number of programs open, you want it to be on Oculus Mirror, because what that will do, that will capture everything that is displayed within your headset. Um, and you can minimize your headset or minimize the Oculus Mirror so that it's not displayed on your primary monitor, on your first monitor. So it's out of the way, so that it's not in the way of your chat or, uh, or your overlays. And it will still capture that image, still capture what you're seeing within the headset. And that's it guys, that is all I've got in regards to pinning, uh, chat and overlays within the Oculus headset. Uh, so far it's been a foolproof way um, of doing things, I've had no issues, um, the image is always rendered, no yellow error, exclamation marks, um, and I've been able to take the headset off for extended periods of time, come back to it and it's still been pinned and there. So. Yeah, hopefully it's um, it works for you guys too. It so far works for me. Don't think think it's exactly how Oculus wants the pin function to work. Um, they want us to pull apps out, and I think that's where we've gone wrong for quite a um, considerable amount of time. That should still be the easiest way. So hopefully Oculus um, optimizes that moving forward in the future, and it's so much easier for us. Um, to reposition and use uh, but yeah so far this works and I hope it does for you guys too hit me up in the comments below uh, let me know if it works for you let me know if you're having any issues um, I'll try and answer as best as I can um, and yeah remember to hit that like and subscribe button turn those notifications on and I'll see you for the next one